Good evening. A city in shock after a 16-year-old schoolgirl was stabbed to death on a bus during this morning's rush hour. Police have arrested a 22-year-old man in connection with the murder of Christina Edkins. It was just after 7.30 this morning that the attack took place on the number nine bus service from Birmingham to Stourbridge. The busy Hagley Road was cordoned off outbound for the next three and a half hours as police launched a manhunt. Shortly after half past 12, a 22-year-old man was arrested in a nearby supermarket on suspicion of murder. Holly Lewis has been following today's developments. Thursday morning in Birmingham city centre and like thousands of other teenagers, Christina Edkins was on her way to school. The 16-year-old had just got on the bus when she was stabbed to death on the crowded commuter service. The bus driver called the police. Police officers attended and on attendance uh, they attempted to revive the girl in question but unfortunately she's been pronounced dead at the scene. Bus passengers today reacted with shock to news of the attack, but some said they weren't surprised. But I just feel that the buses are not safe a lot these days. Kind of makes you think, really, you can't even catch the bus and get home safely. It's usually quite good police presence on some of the ones I've been on, so I've, I've, I've never felt uh, unsafe on the buses. Earlier this month, West Midlands Police launched a crackdown on bus crime in the city, saying that March was often the worst month for incidents on board. Today, passenger organisations called for calm. Terrible, tragic event today. Um, condolences go out to the family and friends of the poor affected girl. But this has got to be taken in context. It's very, very rare to have this kind of thing happening across the West Midlands bus network. At lunchtime, it was announced that an arrest had been made in connection with the stabbing. The man was spotted by an officer searching the scene. He was seen acting suspiciously around the Morrisons behind me here. That's just around 200 yards from the bus stop where the incident happened. It also emerged that Christina posted a message on Twitter a month ago saying, This man is worrying me on the bus, keeps getting up and walking up and down stairs and sitting in different places. Police have told us they will be looking at Christina's social media footprint as part of the investigation, but at this stage there's nothing to suggest she was being targeted. Home office figures show the number of fatal knife attacks in the West Midlands has fallen, but experts say high-profile incidents are bound to make the public feel nervous. With all the work that we do in all the education programmes that we've put forward, you know, the, the, the work we've done in schools and in local communities, you know, the message is getting out there, but there's a hard core of individuals who still believe that carrying weapons is, is the right thing to do, and we're, we're constantly battling with that. But for those who knew Christina Edkins, the statistics are meaningless. They are left mourning a much-loved daughter, sister and friend. Well, Holly Lewis is on the Hagley Road this evening. Now, people who use the buses regularly have been really shaken by today's events, haven't they, Holly? Well, absolutely. I mean, tonight, here we are in the rush hour on the Hagley Road. It's extremely busy. This is what it was like this morning. In broad daylight, this attack took place on a busy commuter bus. And as you heard in my report, passengers said they were concerned. Some told me they'd already witnessed antisocial behaviour, things that had alarmed them on buses in the city, and that this really just made it so much worse. And certainly tonight, they didn't feel that safe as they got on the bus. Well, what are police doing to make commuters feel safe? Well, as you also saw in the report, passenger groups are really stressing that this was an isolated incident, that there hasn't been anything similar on a bus in the West Midlands for more than 10 years. And over the next few weeks, National Express told us they would have an increased presence on buses, answering people's questions, addressing their concerns. And, uh, Holly, do we know anything more about the man who was arrested? Well, we don't really, Nick. What we do know is that he was arrested about half past 12 today. I have spoken, or we have spoken to an eyewitness who told us that he saw a man walking around at the back of Morrison's, that officers approached him, that there wasn't any struggle, that they searched him, took some things away with them, and that he went peacefully with police officers. Obviously, if we hear any more, we'll update you throughout the programme or on the 10.30 news tonight. Holly, thank you. And back to our main story this evening now. The murder of teenager Christina Edkins as she went to school on a bus in Birmingham this morning. 
Well, Holly Lewis is still at the scene this evening. More and more tributes are being paid to Christina, I gather. Yes, that's right. Here at the scene, there are already quite a number of bouquets have been laid close to the bus stop. Of course, hundreds of messages on social media sites that have been set up in memory of Christina. Her family, understandably, haven't spoken to the media yet. But today at her school in Hales Owen, her headmaster read out this statement. She was a bright and popular student, much loved by staff and students alike and she will be greatly missed by this school. Our thoughts and hearts go out to her family and everyone who knew Christina. We're working closely with the police and a team of counsellors to, to provide support to all of our pupils and staff. And tonight, the Archbishop of Birmingham has actually issued a statement as well, offering his condolences and saying this incident raises issues about the respect for life in our society and how we safeguard our children in public places. Holly, thank you.